Yo, GM, what is up everyone? My name is Will, I go by a raving ape. Uh, today we're gonna be diving in and talking about Heavy Metal Forge, the newest game from Board Ape Yacht Club. Essentially, you know, everything kind of started off and we were like very uncertain with like what we were getting with this game. You know, there was a lot of anticipation, a, a lot of hype that was built up. You could uh, definitely tell it was reflected in the floor price for the heavy metals, um, which have since kind of come back down. But I, I definitely feel like that is not an, not an accurate representation of how the game uh, feels when you're playing it so far. I mean, I, I feel like there's a lot of people that have started playing it and they, uh, they you either love it or you hate it. And, and I, I feel like if you spend a little bit of time and you just try to like, you know, get into that mindset of like you're trying to either build something fun if that's what you want to do or or optimize it to try and get to the maximum uh, portal level or tile level or whatever it is, you kind of just got to find your niche and then go after it. Um, there's definitely been a few little pieces of like little golden carrots hang, you know, dangling in front of us saying like, yo, you're going to need some energy. You're going to need to uh, to build up your forges and prepare uh, for what's to come in the later seasons, uh, especially when we enter, I guess, the, the dungeon crawler phase of this game. So like, it definitely feels like this is just the beginning. Um, and I kind of feel like if you're going to be interested in playing it, you're probably better off playing sooner than later because there is a lot of time that gets built up uh, upgrading all of your tiles, upgrading your portals, all of these things, they, they just start sucking away time. So essentially you can kind of get into a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe, you know, you're going to be working for like an hour on something and you can have this up in the background and then, you know, you might, uh, toggle back and forth, upgrade a couple tiles that are like maybe 10, 15, 30 minute upgrades in between. And then when you know you're going to step away for a little while longer, you hit those longer, uh, upgrades like the portals and whatnot. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at my forges that I have started creating with my heavy metals. Um, this is my first one. This is the, the heavy metal that I received from my Dookie Dash sewer pass. Um, so this sewer pass is the one I got from my ape. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a fantastic Dookie Dash gamer. So I got a very, I mean, I like it. It's a night. It's a mid-tier uh, heavy metal. It looks pretty cool with the little uh, dizzy eyes. Um, but yeah, so essentially, I started off with my forge and I built over to this portal. And uh, very quickly, I started making my way to the other portal. And then I was like, wait a second, we can still explore the rest of the map. So I continued onward um, over to this, this wall over here where I then connected to the third portal. And I didn't realize, but that's like a big no-no because then you can't delete this tile. So you can't delete the rest of the tiles. The reason why you would want to do that, which I kind of cleaned up my act in, in my, in my second attempt here, um, you build to the first portal, you upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And then once you can't upgrade anymore, uh, you build to the second portal and essentially you have to like build like 30 tiles to uh, uh, unlock the second portal and so You build them and then you delete them and then you only have a few that you have to upgrade so your time sink uh, To getting those portals unlocked is significantly less now that doesn't account for you know You're gonna have to go back and eventually if you're trying to max unlock everything you're gonna have to have you know max maxed tiles all the way across the board um so yeah uh this one was the second attempt i liked that a lot better um started playing around with some higher tier tiles kind of on the first few and then you know leveling these up uh in, in a row whenever i can fit the time in but as you can see here i mean like 57 minutes to upgrade this um not great but <laughs> Hey, I got some time right now, so I'll be able to set something up and, and run the next one whenever my uh, whenever this timer's done. Um, here is another one. I'm I'm doing the same kind of build strategy here. I I, I fell in love with this idea, and I was like, all right, cool. We're gonna just run this. Um, so I ended up picking up this one and this other one here, which again, same strat. Um, I picked these up after the game started. I felt like there was uh, a, the initial confusion. People didn't know how they were gonna be able to manage huge uh, huge amounts of heavy metals if, if they had like a big bag of heavy metals. So they were like, 
you know, some people were selling them off and then mixed with a little bit of market chaos that we had recently over the last couple days, it definitely felt like forges were kind of getting dumped. So I started, you know, nibbling a little bit, picking up a few, picked up these, those two, and then I picked up a celestial, which you can see kind of floating next to my, uh, next to my, I think it's above me. Um, so yeah, I picked up the celestial with a, uh, with a companion. We don't know what they do yet, but it felt, it felt right. I was shopping the floor and it was a price I was comfortable with. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and pick this up, make a, make it, make it our own forge, which was a nice addition there. When I was shopping for them, one of the criteria was I wanted a clean slate. I didn't want, you know, to inherit somebody else's, uh, shitty poop mess that, you know, was not building towards what ultimately I would want my forge to start off as. Um, you know, the other thing too, that I did with this one was in the very beginning, before you even build over to the other, uh, to the first portal, like you can kind of do like this zero energy build thing where you place a tile, delete it, place a tile, delete it. And so when you do that, here, I'll show you the, the delete animation is pretty cool. Um, when you delete the tile, you, after you reach so many tiles that you've deleted, you unlock, uh, different blueprints of things that you can put into your house. So, um, we have 41 of 82 objects unlocked. And so my, my idea here was like, you know, like, in the event that the last object to unlock is like, hey, you have to have de like unlocked everything else. Um, I went ahead and knocked it out where I could delete, I think it was like 300 tiles. And then it got, uh, let's see here. This was one of them, the minion. There was also, yeah, these, the plush with the little, what the fuck, that, what the fuck is this monster character thing from the trailer? Um, I forget what it's called or if it has a name yet we don't know um these were also so destroyed 75 tiles or objects got this toxic barrel with the mutant logo on it um got some ape toilet paper um so yeah essentially it just allowed me to unlock i think like eight of the 82 so that definitely helped uh you know the journey of this heavy metal reaching a max forge, which is ultimately what I'm going for here. Um, I think it would be uh, beneficial for, you know, voting. Um, it's a little complicated how that works, but, you know, I, I can go to go into that in a second. Um, but I think it'll be beneficial for voting. I think it'll be beneficial for uh, whenever we enter the rift and have monsters that we got to fight. Um, you know, I, I feel like the more energy you have, the less limited you have right everything's unlocked so you know preparing for like the worst case scenario here where you're just going to start draining energy left and right um, essentially that is what I'm going for when I'm building out these forges um, let's see here so currently we have the leaderboard where you can go in, visit other forges and, and kind of uh, you know decide whether or not you want to vote for them or not um, so this is an interesting strategy here. Uh, so, you know, you could pass him an upvote. Wow, it's got a lot of, uh, he's got a lot of heavy metals hanging out. Um, so, but essentially, you know, you go through, you collect votes, you get on the leaderboard for the daily leaderboard. So like currently I have zero votes, but the past couple of days I've gotten some votes. So overall, that doesn't, see oh, this one I just started, so it's not going to have as many as like my main one will have. Let's see here. So my main one has 84 points. So I'm in, I'm in the runnings for the third tier uh, amp. So essentially these amps are gonna be given out at the end of every season, there's six seasons, so you need well, you need three amps to upgrade your heavy metal to Evo 2, um, and you can use any amp type to upgrade it. And then the, that means I guess we'll have three extra that we could then sell when they become uh, tradable as NFTs. So that'll be after all of the six seasons though. So we got a ways. Um, I think this is gonna carry us out until all the way into November or something like that. So like we definitely have a long, long way to go, but um, yeah, I, I, 
the, <laughs> I, I definitely feel like people are going to be coming in hot later on in the seasons um, when they're like, oh crap, I need to build a forge. And then they're going to have no other option but to cough up some ape coin, um, buy some gears, which, yeah, the ratio one ape coin is 127 gears. Um, and so gears, you know, they do a lot of things. They, they boost your, your building ability. Um, I think it's something around eight ape coin to increase like per one hour of build time. I think that's right. Something like that. Um, but then, you know, the other thing you can do is you can go in and you can buy some premium blueprints. Um, you can also buy some different power-ups. So I'm a big fan of the level up power up. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, but uh, basically if you're standing on high tier level tiles, then you're just raking in a bunch of energy. Um, the one I actually prefer more than this one is the Wonderlust one, which gives you 2x the portal uh, energy w once you go in and collect it. So if I went in and I this one was deactivated and I activated the Wonderlust, it would go and send my heavy metal into this portal. And instead of pulling out 216,000, uh, it would pull out 400 uh, thousand energy which would then you know put me close to max because I'm sitting at like one million energy so like if you look at this bar right here I've only unlocked a million energy and then it's like all of that is the potential to still be unlocked so it is going to be an absolute grind um, from day one all the way to the finish line and, and I feel like you know things things are gonna get juicy things are gonna get excited people are gonna have a lot of fun uh, further down the road so Let's go over real quick and we will take a quick look at the market. Currently, the heavy metal price is sitting at 0.58 top bid, 0.6 floor. Um, you know, we had a lot of strong buying over the days. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, this was 10 hours ago, 12 hours ago. Let's see. There was a point in time, yeah, like within the last day, there's just been tons of buys. So we kind of bottomed out around 0.42-ish. I believe that was the lowest one. Um, but yeah, people sold off because there was market chaos. And then we started just climbing. People were buying them up, snagging them up left and right. Um, and yeah, we've had a couple high tier sales. We've had some like these, uh, we, we've had these reavers sell. We've had, you know, here's a couple hollows, celestials, you name it. Um, so anyways, people realized, hey, I need more heavy metals, or now that I understand the game mechanics a little bit, I, I know what I kind of want to focus on and, and purchase. So uh, we definitely saw a lot of people head in to the market and purchase some heavy metals. I do think, though, you know, it's going to be a long season, or not a long season, but a long duration for this uh, these six seasons to play out. So it'll be interesting to watch the price of these fluctuate over time. I imagine, you know, we could potentially see run-ups uh, or, or drop, uh, you know, dumps back down. So um, definitely going to keep an eye on it. I, I picked up a few at like 0.45 or so like that. So, and then my Celestial is a little bit more of a premium. Um, but I, I'm probably going to stay on the sidelines a little bit longer for some of these. Um, hollows were previously like 80. They dumped down to like five. Unfortunately, I snoozed on those and I should have just, you know, bit the bullet and picked up a hollow, but it's all right. It's whatever. Um, Reavers were holding four to four and a half for quite a long time down to two, two. These had actually dumped down to about one nine, um, at the lowest still would like to pick one of those up, but I kind of want to just focus on my one celestial with the companion. Um, celestials down as well they were around two now they're around one um you know a lot of this stuff too i think there's a lot of uncertainty on whether or not these different uh heavy types are worth speculating on and building out forges for these higher tiered or higher or different type heavy metals um there's some alluding to benefits of some sort uh for these in the future so we'll see how much that plays in uh you know plays a role and if it's you know a, a sizable boost then you know we might see some more uh 
some more buy action on the uh, on the heavy metal higher tier classes. Um, Knights also kind of doing the same thing, still hanging out just a little bit above floor. Um, looking in some of the tweets that have come through, uh, Tenacious tweeted, the further you get in Heavy Metal Forge, the more you want to get further in Heavy Metal Forge. Um, I feel like this is the general sentiment a lot of the uh, among a lot of the apes that have been you know, playing, grinding it out day after day for the last few days. Um, you kind of get building on one forge, and it kind of happened to me too. You start building one forge, and you're like, okay, let me try something else. You start building on that, and you're like, all right, this is what I want to do. And then you're like, wait, crap, I need more heavy metals. I need more, I need more. So then I, I feel like there's quite a few people that are experiencing this. Um, on the other hand, though, we do have some hot takes kind of that came out before the game even started. Uh, Spencer, who has an ape that looks pretty similar to mine, um, you know, minus the laser eyes and whatever. Um, <laughs> he said, this looks unbelievably dumb. 0% chance I'm wasting my time clicking uh, to wash poop off my digital floorboards. Um, you know, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not sexy now, but... If, if you're if we're out here grinding and and <laughs> washing up all this uh let's see i had some to clean up here we go we'll do a little little tappy tap clean the floorboards of the of the heavy metal oil spills um so yeah we have like that complete other side of the take uh we'll see you know if people still hold that opinion as we progress through the different seasons um, here we have Morton saying, starting to plan my daily chores around my heavy metal sleeping slash working schedule. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's very much true where it's like, wow, everything, everything that I'm doing right now is like, okay, I, I got to go start my heavy metals to, to level up while I'm going to be away. So like trying to like prioritize, uh, different upgrades to get them to a point where you can leave them, uh, doing larger upgrades over a longer period of time while you're away is definitely something that people are prioritizing for. And then we have Spencer Tucker uh, from Yuga. He said, just a gamer in Web3 world, imagine what is possible when mainstream picks up the unique differentiation in Web3. Mainstream, you aspire to 50% day one, 25% day two retention, 13% day three. Let's aim higher. Forge is greater than 60% day three retention. So, Essentially, we're on day three, uh, and we, we, we still have retention of the, the players currently playing the game greater than 60%. So that means people that logged in day one are playing at day two, playing at day three, and they're probably going to be playing at day four because, you know, when, when, you, <laughs> when you get the, the apes started on something and everyone starts piling in, like, you know, we're, we're going to just make this our life for the next uh, three weeks until the season's over. And then we'll kind of, I guess, readjust from there. Um, I think I have one more. Yes. So tenacious also posted heavy metal forge will be, uh, will get explosive. Everything we do now is leading up to the rift. Get ready for dungeon crawlers, epic boss battles, weapon and trait upgrades, and more. Don't sleep on forge. You'll regret it. Um, so looking at this teaser, they have the go beyond, uh, go beyond your forge, explore, survive, uh, prepare, and then fight to the finish. Um, these are all just bits and pieces that aren't even, you know, we, we don't see this now currently in this version of forge. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens when we go through these different stages, the gameplay changes, new additions are added that kind of spices it up. Um, the leaderboard, you know, doesn't necessarily won't depend on just voting, uh, social voting at that point, which I guess to talk briefly on that, we have like a gazillion group chats now that are spinning up of people just like trying to swap votes. So every time you vote, you have to do like an energy drain uh, to vote on a on a forge. So the first vote costs 500, the next one costs 1500, the second one costs like 5000, and it keeps scaling up from there pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, I mean it's just been chaotic in all of the the original group chats I've been been in with a bunch of different apes. Um, they're all just spamming it now, saying who wants to energy trade. <laughs> so. I'm not the biggest fan of that aspect, but uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we just need to like clean up the group chat act a little bit and not 
have uh, spamming in a Twitter DM because that it just gets messy. I feel like we need to break it out into some guilds, um, which I, there are definitely some. Break it out into guilds on Discord, you know, and have channels or or some kind of system to like match your your friend group together to do energy trades. If not, it just it's it's going to be <laughs> uh, a chaotic experience for the next six seasons. Um, other than that, I, I don't really have anything else. I'm excited to see where this road goes. Um, like everything, Yuga Labs just never disappoints in, in delivering exciting and, you know, um, creating that, that spark in like the web three space of like doing random wacky shit. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. That's all I got for today. See you next time. Peace.